Hello and welcome to this totally random video. Today I am going to be starting the process of changing this 1996 Mercedes wagon into our feed truck. Lately, we have been using the car as our feed vehicle because it is way, way quicker than having all your feed in like a feed room. So instead of a feed room, we just have this so like we technically do have a feed room but it's like a, a mobile feed room <laughs> originally we used to have the feed just like down the end near the horses so that would be like a little feed room it was in our old float and then one in the stable as well but we were running out of space when we cut the hay and stuff to put the hay places so we kind of just started putting it in random areas the feed and then mum just started putting it all in this car and I was like initially like oh my god that's so unorganized and weird that we just keep it all in the car and then drive the car down and then mix all the feeds and then feed the horses from the car but then I started using it and then I realized it is so much easier and quicker anyway all of the feed is just in bags in there and really unorganized also we've had this car literally since I was born. Like 1997 is when mum and dad got the car new. It's done 400,000 kilometers on the odometer, but it's probably done like another 100,000 since then because it stopped working. So we don't actually know how many Ks it's done. Also, it's unregistered. Also, it has tractor tires essentially on the back so that we can take it around the property. It's a cool car like it's essentially an antique but it just keeps going and now it's our paddock vehicle <laughs> and today and probably over the next few days i'm gonna be changing it into a actual feed room feed room i can't wait to have to deep clean i'm not gonna do that much deep cleaning because it's gonna be a feed vehicle anyway but clean this car because I don't think it's been detailed in about 15 years. So I'm going to give you the current rundown situation of just how messy and unorganized this car is. I don't even know what this is. Maybe to charge it when its battery was really off. I don't know. We've got rugs, rags, stuff and the back. The important back. First, I'm also going to say that yes, this was me. I'm just really bad at backing this car. Then dad screwed it in, so this would not do this, but it broke again. So now you have to like properly like lift it up from the bottom. This is the situation <laughs> that I'm going to be organizing. <laughs> hey, at least it's going to be satisfying. Let's just not look at the mold as well. <laughs> Also, I just, I don't really understand what's going on here. So, let's go. Alright, we have everything out of the back. We're just going to start here, because I do actually have to feed the horses with it tonight. So, I need all the feed in here, basically. fact if you actually lift this up and lift that up it's a seat facing backwards so it's actually a seven seater wagon <laughs> but I just tried to lift this one up and just broke the handle off entirely so I don't think I'll be able to show you today but I used to when I was a kid sit in the back and just wave at people could you imagine just like driving behind this car and just having like two little girls in the back like me and a friend from school in the back waving to you like how uncomfortable would you feel and also the thought of me doing that now to someone makes me cringe so hard like my social anxiety could not and also when we used to do that to people they literally just often wouldn't wave back like they would just act as if we weren't there even though they were like two meters behind us at like traffic lights and they could literally see us like so easily through the car and I was like 
like really trying to get them to wave and they just wouldn't often they just would completely ignore us and we'd be like okay by the way that was when i was like literally 10 or honestly younger no probably 10 around 10 before the social anxiety kicked in <laughs> god we're gonna attempt to remove the mold I can already hear the comments of people being like, you should have done it with a mask on. Hey, at least I'm outdoors. All right, we kind of cleaned things fairly heavily, but other things, not really at all. But we have cleaned out the back and now I am going to pile in all the feeds except in these very cheap Kmart containers which honestly those ones these three were eight dollars each i can't remember how much this one was but it was so cheap so this is a 120 liter one those are 80 liter ones and i'm going to put the chaff in here and the other grains in those ones and then a little one for supplements filled with chaff and from what I can tell I think this actually holds either a bag or almost a bag of chaff. A plus colour match if I do say so myself. So sadly I've realised that the chaff bin does not fit in with all these other bins in the back so I'm just going to put the hard feeds in I've decided and the supplements in the back and the chaff in the back seat all right so i'm gonna fill all these now i've only got half a bag of high gain zero and mitobite breeder so we're just gonna fill them with that for now and see how we go and i think i might honestly buy another one of these to fill with chaff because you can stack them on top of each other so i feel like that would be good because then you just have to move one of them over to get the stuff out or something along those lines. But maybe you'll be fine having it just in the back there like that. So I've put everything in all their buckets, but I have realized that I do have a couple of other things, other supplements and stuff. So I do need to get another one of these. And I think I'm going to move that back maybe and this one forward and then I'll be able to put another one on top of this one or something along those lines. But first I need to get another one. So I'm going to leave it at that today. And I'm actually going to go feed the horses now and try it out for the first time. It is a couple of days later and I am going to continue turning our old car into a proper feed vehicle slash feed room. Hello, baby horse. What have you done to your rug? Again. <laughs> Hello, my little baby. Let is, oh, okay, we're in a sassy mood today. Let's get started on the back seat. Oh my God, it's a half eaten pumpkin. Why is there a uh, appetizer of black caviar? from 2012 in here. One side done, ready to be vacuumed. Ready? Not perfect, but way better. Need to fill it with more stuff, but here's my little medical kit thing. Obviously, I need some bandage pads and stuff, but stuff that can help if any of the horses are injured. Little container for Equilax, which is for if they're on sand or dirt. 
it's like a supplement to make sure they don't get sand colic. Now for the front seat. This is just absolutely bloody disgusting. There we go. Stained but clean nonetheless. At least cleaner than it was before. And we are done. There's definitely a couple of things I'd like to add in here, like in the first aid kit and in this other little box that I put down here. This is just like random things, like a jacket in case I haven't worn appropriate clothing down to feed the horses and I need another jacket. And just like random things like electric fencing stuff. Hello you. Here's what I need to now organize. There is the back and then the back seat. So all the chaff in here and the other extra stuff. Pino is trying to get in. He wants some, don't you? He wants some of that feed. Hey? Yeah, so the RBO oil in the middle there. No, no, we're not going in. All of the supplements and my little mixing spoon. That is all done, all organized. Just wrangling my horse over here. But if I need any hay, which ideally I don't because we like putting hay wherever the horses are in like the stable or whatever. Stop it, no food. But I can just chuck it on the roof <laughs> or the bonnet, which I have done before multiple times. So hope you enjoy it again. Goodbye from Pino and I. I'm gonna go put this horse away so he stops trying to eat the food.